Having a perfect camera to capture what you hope are perfect images of perfect moments, or sometimes imperfect moments that turn into perfect photos, that's just, you know, wonderful. I grew up in Paris, France. I was born and raised in Paris, you know, which is such a visual city and such iconic photography. And I was always attracted to photography. I used to see a lot of exhibitions in Paris as a kid. Ever since I was born, basically, I would go to the Paris flea market every weekend. Seeing so much art, so much photography, so many statues, so many paintings, all those things just kind of influenced my upbringing. I feel like that also kind of impregnated my eye as a photographer. It only made sense at a certain point that the most collectible thing for me was Leica cameras. I had an M3, a double stroke M3 from 1955 that was my first, you know, nice kind of mint condition Leica camera. That kind of started a bug of collecting M's, you know, and the feeling of those are to me the same as a rare car or a rare statue or a rare painting. I, I don't see it any different from a classic work of art because those cameras are classic works of art and they're perfect, technically perfect, beautiful designs. So they, they speak to me the same as all these things I've been collecting my whole life. M3, which was the first one, only camera that's in the Museum of Modern Art. This, according to them, is the best design camera ever. It is that statue, it is that painting, you know, it's, it's just as valuable. I mean, photography is storytelling. This is what photography is. You take a handful of sand, right? And no matter how much you hold on to, eventually all that sand is gonna fall out. But you're gonna have a few grains of sand and those are gonna be your iconic photos. Capturing moments in history, creating our own time capsule is really what it's all about. I had a very uh, passion-driven project. As you see around me, I, I spent my life obsessed with black culture, black arts, black music. And uh, so I'd been photographing black neighborhoods, you know, from Harlem or Brooklyn or New York City, LA, anywhere I went, Paris, Florence, Rome, Milan. I thought, how, how cool would it be for me to kind of do a tribute to civil rights era photography, a tribute to Gordon Parks and Leonard Fried and Eli Reed and Bruce Davidson, you know, people that had captured the most iconic black imagery. Every picture I put in the show, I asked myself, would I want this on my wall? And if not, then I don't put it in the show. Is that something I would collect? And one of the things I always loved was people's hands. And I have Quincy Jones, Sidney Poitier, Herbie Hancock, a lot of legends and how cool would it be to just show their hands and make the other real people like quote unquote the non-celebrities you have the emphasis on their emotions their faces their life their neighborhoods melvin van peebles that's my favorite photo i've ever shot shot on the monochrome the whole moment is recorded for me in this picture like that day will never be forgotten because every time i look at this picture I feel like my heart starts beating faster. I remember like, this is when I got to spend the day with one of my idols. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like there's a video that plays in my mind when I see some of these images and you know, a, lot, a lot of these images, but this one somehow, it has everything in it. I'm just a historian, you know, I'm a historian with the greatest camera in the world, you know, and I'm using the same cameras or newer versions or the same old one as the historians that I grew up admiring. And somebody just here just asked me, you know, if you just had to pick one camera, it's always been the monochrome for me. That was always the answer. Like if I'm on a deserted island, but then all of a sudden this M10P made me enjoy my color photos more, which is really interesting because I've never even considered street photography in color for myself. The quality of uh, the monochrome mode in the M10P is amazing. I was really impressed. It was kind of the first time where I was like, ooh, maybe I can hurt my back a little less the next time around. The fact that it's this mechanical shutter, this quieter mechanical shutter, and not a complete silent shutter, I prefer that. I still want to feel like I'm taking a picture. Listen to how quiet this is. And you got it. The, this evolution of this M10P having a more silent shutter 
is a natural evolution, I think, to the times we live in. So the M10P would definitely be right now. That's that's the one I take out every day. It's a family, you know. We're we are a family. I mean, the, when you meet Leica photographers, whether they're in their 20s or in their 90s, there's always a connection between all of us. It's a, this lineage that's been created. So very proud to be part of that family.